from the St. Ignatius Chapel at the Manresa Jesuit Spiritual Renewal Center in Pickering, Ontario. The National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father John Berteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from three donors. The first is Rose Moffat from Victoria, British Columbia, for her family to be committed to their Catholic faith, in memory of her late husband, John Moffat, and for the souls of family members and those in purgatory. The second is an anonymous donor from Scarborough, Ontario, for improved health and deceased members of her family. The third is Charles Bedard from Arlington, Massachusetts, in memory of Francis and Gaston Bedard. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass that we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather in the great peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ as we continue to enjoy the beautiful weather that God has blessed us with. And we continue that joy in uh, giving him thanks through this Eucharist. Let's pause for a moment then and recollect in how many times we haven't been as good as we could have been and heard our relationship with God who loves us so much. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. After the death of Joshua, the Israelites did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and worshiped the Baals. They abandoned the Lord, <clears throat> the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt. They followed other gods from among the gods of the peoples who were all around them and bowed down to them and they provoked the Lord to anger. They abandoned the Lord and worshiped Baal and the Astartes. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he gave them over to plunderers who plundered them, and he sold them into the power of their enemies all around, so that they could no longer withstand their enemies. Whenever they marched out, the hand of the Lord was against them to bring misfortune, as the Lord had warned them and sworn to them, and they were in great distress. Then the Lord raised up judges who delivered them out of the power of those who plundered them. Yet they did not listen even to their judges, for they lusted after other gods and bowed down to them. They soon turned aside from the way in which their ancestors had walked, who had obeyed the commandments of the Lord. They did not follow their example. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge, and he delivered them from the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge, for the Lord would be moved to pity by their groaning because of those who persecuted and oppressed them. But whenever the judge died, they would relapse and behave worse than their ancestors, following other gods, worshiping them and bowing down to them. They would not drop any of their practices or their stubborn ways. The word of the Lord. Rejoice in the gladness of your 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. A man came to Jesus and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. The man said to him, Which ones? Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother. Also, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all these. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. A number of years ago, a very wise, well-bred, well-read Jesuit priest told me that uh, to teach something for people to fully understand, you must first know it, understand it, and relate to that teaching. To pray about it and then deliver it to those who are going to hear you. Always, never forgetting this, always keeping Jesus in the center. And this is the case in today's, with today's rich man that we hear about in the gospel. As I was looking for some insight into this passage, I came across this reflection that is titled, Where Can You Find True Peace? security, and happiness? Hopefully, I can under answer the question for you. And I also quote to you from the article that I read, and I quote, a young man who had the best the world could offer, such as wealth and other material possessions, lacked one thing. He wanted the kind of lasting peace and happiness that you just can't buy. Surprisingly enough, Jesus did not give him the answer that he was looking for. And the article continues, The young man placed his hopes and security in what he possessed. So when Jesus challenged him to make God his true and one and only possession and treasure, he became very discouraged. And then it closes, After all, he was living all of the commandments. So he was a pretty good person. But here is the catch, for lack of a better word, catch. The requirements to obey the commandments, my dear friends in Christ, is not to establish one's merit or righteousness before God, but to be an expression of true love and true faith for Jesus. The Bible teaches that salvation is a gift of God's grace received through faith. Grace received through faith. So what do you treasure most in life? Not who, what. Example, I like my car. I'm not in love with it, but I like my car. It gets from one place to the next. The loan's paid off. I like my computer. Especially, especially when it works. When it doesn't, well, there's a different thing that happens. But you see, when either one of these things or other possessions that I have, when they break down, what do we do? Toss them out and buy a new one. Material possessions, as pleasant and as useful as they can be, are very temporal and may provide some temporal comfort, especially when you get over all the gadgets with it and you get to understand it a little better. But how about those things within us? Not the physical, material things, but the things in us, 
that blocks out that total surrender to God? Are we being interrupted by our closeness to the Lord? So that what would it mean for us maybe to sell things we don't have or things we need to get from day to day? Better yet, is Jesus actually asking us to get rid of everything we own? Because some of you might need a car to get from place to place. Many of you, if not all of you, need a television to watch this Mass and to participate with us in prayer. So don't get rid of that. Not yet. I'm talking about things from within us. Things, again, that stand in the way. And I'll give you a couple of examples. I'm not pointing fingers, but just thoughts, things for you to think about that you may have. The first one comes to mind, a bad attitude. Unhealthy habits, just think about them. Quarrels with co-workers and even family members who you might love dearly. My favorite one, procrastination. I'll leave it till tomorrow. Leave it till later. The other one that sometimes some, some of us suffer from is laziness. And I'm sure that you don't suffer from this one that I'm going to mention, judging others. We don't do that, do we? I think you get the point. It would be much easier to live the commandments to serve the poor and actually gain eternal life if we were not so occupied with so many bad habits, at least a few, bad habits that consume our time and our energy. Also, they can block our vision of heaven and push us in making bad choices in life. As my late Friend, the Jesuit priest also told me, never stop praying to Jesus and the Holy Spirit for personal guidance for yourself and those most in need so that you can find an internal and personal relationship with Jesus to eventually end up in that beautiful kingdom of heaven. Now, wouldn't that be nice? that personal relationship that we develop here on earth which is without the other things being in the way to take us to heaven. But after all, that is our final goal, isn't it? God bless you all. Please join me in prayer. And we pray for all of those in the Daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially for families, for peace in times of blessing, and anyone in difficulty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Francis, our Pope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those looking for meaning in life, that they may find what and who they seek, we pray to the Lord. For all of our generous sponsors, and in this Mass, we pray for those from Victoria, British Columbia, Scarborough, Ontario, and Arlington, Massachusetts. Thank you for helping us spread the good news of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that they may rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the guidance and protection and wonderful example of our Blessed Mother who loves each one of us, we pray. Hail Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you, goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed be God forever.
Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbleth himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you as we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. With humble spirit, I'll come to our heart, accepted by you, O Lord, may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring you to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us join together in this prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let 
us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth from this Eucharist in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.